and now it's power time. So same thing we did with Shameless. We about to do with power. But at the end, we're going to finish up with comments you guys have left me over the week. So to refresh our memory, let's take a look at power promo for episode eight and see what we can pick up. So why do you try to kill me today, Ma? You need to tell me everything that you've been up to right now. Should I alert the authority? No, it's not that kind of danger. I can sell this drug dealing family. I got to know, how does it end? Look, I still feel like there's something that you're hiding. You can't trust anybody. Not with the truth. I'm seeing this whole thing wrong. When I find you, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are trying to figure out who the hell is Kane talking about? When he said, yep. when I find you, you're dead. Larry, answer that question and predict what you think is going to happen. And, he, and there are some rules to this, Larry. I got rules, okay? I don't want to hear nothing about doorknobs. I don't want to hear nothing about locks and keys. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. With this shit, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what? That's what's wrong with this country, Larry. We tell you to wear a mask, and you be like, nope, I'm not going to let you trample on my rights. I'm going to not wear a mask out in public. I don't give a damn what you say. I tell you not to put up a lot. You put up a lot like that's a constitutional right. See, that's why we can't get nowhere, because people don't know how to act. But go they ahead. Change, they should make a new brand. They should call one of these the oh, carry lock. Here we go. Now people the in the comment lock. section lock uh -oh. it down. Y'all need to stop this mess, man. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> For real. For real. This is embarrassing. Moochie, where are you? Can we get a lock and key, Moochie? You know? No, nope, no, nope, Moochie. No, nope, Moochie. <laughs> Go ahead, Larry. Who you think Kane talking to? I think Kane is probably talking to uh probably talking to Tariq. I think really? he's got some beef with him. He's either he's either talking to Tariq or he might be talking to one of the to uh one of the GTG dudes. Yep. They maybe the cops picked up one of the GTG dudes and was and was diming him out. So maybe he's after him now. But I think what's gonna happen is is that <laughs> I think that uh <laughs> damn they're going hard on the locks and keys, boy. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think that uh I think that Kane's gonna come after Tariq and Tariq's about to be about to be cornered up like he's gonna get uh like he's gonna get taken out. And then Tariq's gonna be saved when Effie comes up point blank oh and wow and blast Kane. And that's gonna be that's where Effie's gonna come back into the picture for good because she's gonna be up there saving his butt. <sighs> and then she's gonna say, "Now we're even. I did you wrong, and now we're even." T strings, what you think gonna happen, Larry, Larry? Godly, all Larry's good for is being the pep rally for lock and keys. T strings, what, what you got? <laughs> we even got B Avery in there talking about locks and keys. Oh, yeah. oh my God, not B Avery. No, man, no, not no, no, just no. <laughs> So, look here. Um, <laughs> is it possible? Is it possible that Kane could possibly be talking to the to the cop? Could be. It could be. Yeah. Could be. Well, I, that's hard, though. I don't think he's gonna kill a cop. Why you know, not? Why not? He, he already that's talked. A lot of, that's a lot of heat coming down on him. He, hey. he already talked funky to him. But you know? Larry, you got to think. He already just done something stupid by trying to go rob a church. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm sitting here, uh, you know, I know I said, uh, you know, I know I said brace a couple of times, but I was sitting here thinking, I was like, who could he? I don't think that is actually Tariq. Me neither. Because I think it's, I think it's too soon to have them on that type of beef level because You'd have to you you can't end it in one or two episodes. Something like that would have to stretch out through the remainder of the series. Mm -hmm. So I say maybe it's not Tariq. Who else could possibly be in the way? Now see. Oh 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 my God! This, this, you know <laughs> I'm not look. I'm not referring. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I am not going to look at this. If I could, if I could shoot <laughs> a super chat back, I would. As a matter of fact, the next time he go live, I'm giving him that two dollars back. 
Keep on going, brother. Teacher. We don't even acknowledge super chats that say lock and keys. We don't even acknowledge them. We don't acknowledge them. Damn it. Keep on going, teacher. This guy, man. God, and so, you know, and so I was like, who could he possibly be talking to that, you know, and I said, well, if it's the cop, you know, the cop, he, you know, his, his loyalty is to Kane's dad, though he do like Kane's mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, mm, they've already had some issue and he, he sort of talked bad to him anyway. And I think he's just holding, you know, he just sort of hold him at bay. And at the same time, you know, I remember him telling Monet, hey, if you just let your chains off me, I can keep him in, I can keep him in order. Mm. And she was like, no, you ain't his daddy. Mm. You know, and that's sort of, mm. that was some harsh words right there, especially for all my stepdads out there. If the mama say, hey, you ain't his daddy, might just have to tuck your tail and <laughs> tuck your tail and <laughs> but, oh, uh, Man, I'm, God, oh, be more careful. God, oh, be more careful. Man, look, man. I, I, you know what? I'm going on strike because y'all don't know how to act. I ain't never seen that many locks in my life. Hell, they ain't got that many locks in the prison. And you up here putting all them locks across. I'm, 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 but you know who has seen that many locks and keys? Okay. I don't know. I don't Professor know. Professor Milgram? No. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, I don't think he's on the phone with Tariq. That wouldn't make sense. I'm with you on that, T-Streams. But someone in the comment section said he could possibly be talking to DC Joe people and what they did to the mama. I could see that. I could see that. Mm, yeah. He, he could be back. But she already blasted him. Sure, but yeah, sure she did. But Kane didn't. And Kane is going to take offense to somebody coming at his mama. So he's probably going to want to go to the next level. And you know who's going to have to talk him out of that? His daddy. His daddy's going to have to like, calm down. Monet done did her thing, but it could also be the cop too. So I'm I'm mm-hmm. gonna ride with T strings. I'm gonna definitely ride with the commenter who said he could be talking to DC Joe people. Someone even said he could be talking to a little guap. Um, or it could be the cop. So or here's one right that we haven't him. considered yet. Who's that? Maybe Lauren is actually a undercover drug dealer uh, doing all this stuff. It could fit right in, just like the North Carolina kids, except she's up there at at at, uh, at her school running the whole drug thing. She's she's not she's up there with 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 uh she's up there plotting and planning because she's like, all right, I need to find out who's running this drug business, and that's why she's getting close to Tariq because she's trying to figure out what his game is because he's stepping on her business, just like he was stepping on Effie's business when he was at Choke. The fuck. I'm telling you, it could be. It could be. Oh my God, man. It could okay. be. Okay, next next one, then we just gonna move on <laughs> to the last section. T strings, I'm gonna ask you this again. Who's on top of Tariq? Who's trying to kill Tariq? Man. Um, <laughs> Larry, oh, no. my T strings oh, no. think about it. Larry, who you think? I'm, he might think someone's trying to kill him, and it may not be anybody's trying to kill him. What he might be is seeing uh, is Jabari following him, trying to get his story. He might think someone's trying to kill him, and it's just it's just Professor Jabari following him around town. You know? Oh, prof- oh Professor Plagiarism. But in the trailer, yeah. someone was on top of Tariq with white. I don't know if they yeah. had their face covered up or what, but somebody was physically on top of Tariq. And Tariq had this shook look on his face. I think that was probably, I think that was probably, uh, that was probably Effie when she comes back. Oh, she was probably oh, like, he saw Diana, she God. saw Diana, and then she saw Lauren. She had to jump up on top of Tariq and smack him around a little bit and said, look, Nick, this is mine, and you know it. Ladies and, and gentlemen. Way, and just had to put it on him like that. My final guess, I'm thinking is. Officer Rico Suave, or he had sent someone to rough up Tariq. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, it, has, it has has to be somebody on on a higher caliber because I just can't see none of the little guys that he interact with on a regular basis, sort of pushing him down and sort of 
I, you know, I can't see it, it would take it would take away his credibility of being a junior boss. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I could I could see the I could see the police. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fellas. Now we got fan reactions because fans, I see y'all's comments. And when y'all post these comments, I do try to get them up here so we can talk about them on Friday. So here we go. Um, and this is anything that we've talked about from power. So here we go. Tommy in the shot. Frank Airy says, Chicago better anyway. It's darker and keeps the power thing. Respect to Cali, but power being in Cali wouldn't be right. Now, y'all know Larry felt something kind of about that the other day. So, Larry, I give that one to you. How do you feel about that man saying that he like it better in the shot? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> how, would, how could you say it wouldn't be better in Cali? How could you say it just wouldn't be right in Cali? Cali's got – First of all, Cali has – people don't always think about Cali as doing gangster stuff because we have all the celebrities with Hollywood. We have, like, God knows how many – we have more sports teams than we can count. So there's a – we have all those all those uh, celebrities with athletes and all that. So people don't think about all the gangster stuff. But you forget that California is the home of the Crips and the Bloods. And we have – and we are one of the homes of the Mexican cartels. And we are the home of MS-13. California is gangster. And if you think that you can't put together a good Tommy show out there with all of that, I mean, Tommy is built for California. He can roll up. He's always loving all his fashion. He can roll up flossing in his shiny, in his shiny 65, you know, Mustang or whatever he's rolling now, all flyed out with whatever fly, whatever fly gear on, and goes and gets his direct connect and starts dealing. I'm telling you, he gets a nice beach house. He's got you got a you got a whole thing where he's got a nice beach house with all glass on the windows with fly chicks everywhere. Because you know Tommy likes his big loft. Just get a big open beach house loft right there. T Strange. I'm going to give the next one to you because Larry what you gonna is – What's he going to do in Chicago besides rock around cold with Timbos in a puffy coat? Ooh. Nobody wants to see a, a bunch of girls with puffy coats on. Uh-huh. You get to see a bunch of hot chicks with nothing. Puffy butts. Forget puffy coats. T-String, the next one is for you. It's from somebody in the D. And All they right. said, Detroit would have been fired. Well, T-String, would, would Power and Tommy in Detroit been fired? I'm going to say I would agree. Uh, I didn't see the name who said that, but I would I would definitely agree. You know, uh, Detroit is just as dark, is just is just as grimy. Uh, we just not, you know, the city of Motown. You know, it's some it's some real life stuff <laughs> jumping off every day here, and uh, I could you know I could actually I could actually see the realism of uh you know of a power theory or a power story being played out right here in the city easily very easily okay and i and i don't know i'll be honest with you man i i really want to see i want to see the tommy joint down south i feel like we get enough we get enough of the whole gangster thing with east coast cities we get them we get them in in new jersey we get them in philly we get them in new york somewhat Detroit. I know it's heading towards the Midwest, but I feel like Detroit still has more of an East Coast kind of vibe to it, the city. I would really – Chicago in the same way. It's Midwest, but a lot – it still has that sort of cold East Coast vibe to it. I would have really have liked to see them have gone down south, somewhere down in, in New Orleans, maybe somewhere in Mississippi, some real country folk down there, maybe even go down to Atlanta, something. Okay. Well – Speaking of Atlanta, we got Sharonda from Parawait. She's in the building. And did y'all see her review for Wonder Woman? Because she is that special Negro. She has she seen is. it. And must I say, her thumbnail was fly as hell. She had the Wonder Woman band on her head. She had <laughs> hair off. I was like, look at this. The only thing she was missing was the wrist wraps. That's all you she know? was missing. But she was up there looking like Nubia. Yeah, man. That thing was fly as hell. Good. Well, shout out to Parawait. Um, Next one is for you, Larry. Here we go. Power. This one is mm. from Helen Hines. I think Drew going to start being the muscle. 
kind of see a little rough guy in him. I think he's going to handle his business when it comes down to his mama. He's going to protect his mom. Okay? Larry, is Drew going to step up and become corporate muscle? No. I think we might see Diana as a, as a shooter before we see uh, see uh, Drew. Mm. Drew's about the Drew, – Drew's, Drew's a lover, man. He's not – Drew's about he's too emotional. He's too, he's too uh I don't want to call him soft or weak. But I just think he's not built for that life. Well, he's you built did, for something else. Didn't you see him shoot a dead body and hide the dead body in the truck the other this last episode? That's not that's not him. <laughs> I mean, it's different if you're doing cleanup work. He's not about that life, man. I think that. I think Diana's more than more about that life than he is, and she might be the one that becomes a shooter. But one thing that gets me about Diana, why she stay up in Tariq's bag? She's always oh, taking that dude's bag, man. I'm like, stay up out this man's business. Larry, don't you understand that she has mixed business with pleasure? Not mm -hmm. only does she have the hots for Tariq, but she's in business with him. And so when she's going through his stuff, She's going through his stuff for two reasons. Number one, to see what kind of business he's doing. And number two, to see if he's got some business going on with Lauren or anybody else. And mm. so that would be a – I hope he don't enter a relationship with that girl with them kind I of hope trust not. issues. She is one snooping-ass individual, boy. She is yeah, all – man, she, would have, she probably would have hacked his phone and – and been all up in his computer. She, she would have a she'd have a complete surveillance team on him if they ever got together. Bruh, let me tell you something. Any fella who's ever been in a relationship longer than a year know that if you do something too crazy and you put a woman's radar up, they do become the FBI in your house. Because <laughs> them hoes can find everything. You do you know what I'm talking about? They become that you you think the FBI for the government can find something. Mm. If they would hire these upset women to be spies, we would know every secret on the planet from every country because boy, they can snoop. The next <laughs> one is for you, T streams. Next one is for you. This comes from the real most stepping Paisley. Two bit and K won't get together, both are alphas. What you think about that, T streams? So, uh, yeah, uh, Drew is soft. All right, so, um, oh, so oh, we had to throw that in there. All right, so here, here, here's the thing. Uh, these, I right, so you, you do have, you do have two alphas, but you also have two entirely different personalities. So, you know, both of them put that work in. I think two bit is more of, uh, he's he's a lot more cerebral than 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 Kane is all right and so as far as you know as far as as that respect goes i think that i think that i would probably ride more so on the hands of uh ride with two bit than i would you know than i would Kane. uh Kane, he's he's you know he's he's too much of a he's too much of a loose loose cannon um would would these guys ever cross paths? I'm assuming it at at some juncture is 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 going to happen. I mean, they they let my man out of jail, and you know, the, the minute, man. What, 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 <laughs> what in the world? Did anybody ask? Are we having something for dinner? <laughs> Did anybody ask if we're having something for breakfast? What the <laughs> hell? God, Toby. T string, go ahead and finish my bro. I just had to throw that in there. I'm like, I, I guess that's how he get I guess that's how he's getting out of trouble. When, there when you the go. FBI, I guess when the FBI investigation start, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Gaming is say you need to make somebody feel like they're hungry and you need to eat them. Man. I'll say oh, this. I don't God. think. I don't think two bit and and uh I don't think two bit and Kane are getting together not no. because they're both alphas. I think they're not getting together because they're both a bunch of betas. They're I mean both of them are betas. Both of them are are are, are you know they they both work under other people. They're comfortable in that position. 
they think they might want to be leaders, but they're not really leaders because they're a bunch of, they're both betas. They're betas with guns. That's what it is. They're just betas with guns. Do you think Tommy's a beta with a gun? No, nah, Tommy, Tommy's got that alpha thing going on. You know, that's why he was always having his power struggles with 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 ghosts because they were, you know, there was there may have been a time when he was when he was Ghost's beta, but he definitely was out on his own. No. <laughs> what? This support game we need to start a YouTube channel, man. This dude be in that bug. <laughs> He thinks Paul Gaiman is really Drew spying on our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Boy, Larry, this one is for you, my man. This yeah, how y'all doing on Friday night? Boy, yeah. hey, he streamed. You done missed out. We done blew up a little bit. You yeah. know? We done got a new audience. I done helped my people get new subscribers. Hey, man, you, you've been missing out. This one for you, Larry. This comes from Ava, probably one of the Stearns or someone they sent. Kane is about to accidentally kill Everett, and Drew is going to spiral out of control after that. Larry, is that one of the Stearns on Tariq? And will Kane accidentally kill Everett, and Drew spirals out of control? I kind of like that theory. Now, Kane's not killing any white people because that, that, uh, I think that cop spoke truth to him and told him he was like, "Look, Everett's not white. Everett's not white, Larry. Everett is Drew's boyfriend." Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was thinking about Stern's dude. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking about Stern's uh, Stern's little little side piece. No, uh, no, 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 no. So she she's saying that she think it's one of it's either Stern's or his side piece that's on top of Tariq, and she's saying in terms of who Kane is shooting at, she think it's Everett. And he shoots Everett, and Drew's gonna spiral out of control. Nah, I don't. I don't see Kane getting upset. I, if if because here's the thing, I think that if if um, if something found, if Drew was found out with if Drew was found out with Everett, I think if anybody would go and get into a fight with them, it would probably be Zeke and Everett getting into a fight. But I don't think like if if. I think Kane might may go and, and and holler at his own brother and get into a fight with Drew, but I don't think he would go after Everett. That just that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. You know, I, right. I was, that's something I think that would be handled between brothers. I don't think that. Well, let me put the story together for you, Larry. Okay, Kane pulls out his gun, thinking it's somebody else coming through that door, and he just shoots before he really see who it is, and it winds up being Everett, and then Drew comes right behind him because Drew and Everett was about to sneak under the stairwell and get it on. And Kane made the mistake and shot Everett. I mean, it doesn't do much for the, sto for the story. The only thing it does for the story is it puts a, a wedge in between Drew and, and Kane. And I don't think you really need that. You already have, you already have the wedge between him and Monet. I don't think you need a wedge between Drew and Kane. It just doesn't seem to do anything to advance the story. Uh, the okay. only thing that I can see that would that would that sort of would blow all that up is if he accidentally shot Zeke, because then you really do have you know now you really have all the family pissed at Kane, and now Kane could be out there on his own because now his mom's pissed, Diana's pissed, Drew's pissed. Mm -hmm. Everybody's pissed at him. His daddy's probably pissed, and so now Kane is isolated, and so, then he could be dangerous. But I, Larry, yeah. I'll take the second half of your question about it was Stearns or one of his people on top of Tariq. And so you see what Miss Crafty Capricorn had to say. Now I'm about to get in a lot of trouble. She's <laughs> saying Stearns' husband not jumping on no one. Correction: If Tariq is on his back. And something is poking straight oh. up. Oh God, here we go. He might, he oh, might jump no. first and be on top of Tariq. Oh um, no! Last, last oh, one. No. Watch power again. Last, last one goes oh, to no. T streams. <laughs> and then that's in Tariq down that way. Last one go to T stream. This is from Siobhan. 
it's two white boys who family owns the college that we need to watch. And someone from Tasha Pass is going to come back in a big way. So, um, T Streams, who in the world in Tasha's past would come back? Because Tasha ain't got a lot of people in her past left. No, the, the really the only ones I think that she have left is Pa's really not in her past, but the only the only ones I think that she really has is is Pa's the um the 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 stripper the stripper slash dope dealer yep. and the dude that the dude that she was messing with that she tried to flip you know tried to flip everything on. Then the only three people that I think that Tasha was really affiliated with that. You know, don't forget, don't forget about that boyfriend, that pseudo boyfriend who was trying to drop his child off at her daycare. Oh yeah, the, oh, okay, yeah. It could be Lawrence. It could be Lawrence, man, that tries to come up there and get at Tariq. That's true. That's true. Old mushmouth Malcolm. That's I mean, he true. has motivation. You That's know, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it's in his character to go there with them. Yeah, but, you know, when people, people are, huh? I said he seemed like such a wuss, and I'd be so disappointed if he smacked Tariq down, and that's and that's him. No, nah, like, man, no way. If I anything, just, if uh, anything, he yeah. run up on Tariq, spit on his shoes, and try to take a picture of it or something. I mean, that's that's all mush mouth mouth. I don't know, but here here's the thing, dude. I mean, he's not a small dude. We saw when 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 Tariq walked by him, Tariq looked like he was about a half a foot shorter than him. And in the circles that that dude runs in with all them rich, privileged ass white kids, you can't be a black dude and be soft in those circles, because at some point, and you're you're putting hands on people, whether it's behind closed doors or what, you're gonna you're gonna have to. Those dudes type like to challenge people, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to put hands on somebody. So I don't think dude is soft. He mm -hmm. might have a whole different approach, but I don't think he's soft. And and people even even if he was even if he was normally thought of as soft, when somebody gets their their feelings hurt, people do people do crazy things, you know. Yep. People do crazy things. Hey, unfortunately, whole civilizations have been crumbled under the heavy weight of panty draws. Just go ask Nefertiti and Julius Caesar what happened. Whole. Yep. Whole societies will crumble, and I guess we'll be finding out, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend. And that is going to conclude it for us.